Hello guys, welcome to Auriculate's weekly news. As promised, we're back again with the latest medical updates. But before getting into this week's news, Dr. Shree will take us through a clinical scenario and let's all try to figure out the diagnosis. Coming to today's clinical scenario, a 51-year-old female was brought to the ER with a complaint of shortness of breath and chest pain and had a history of cancer. On examination, patients have altered mental status. BP is 90 over 50 and respiratory rate is 22 and patient also have distended neck veins and on auscultation the intensity of heart sounds are decreased. Can you say what is the diagnosis? So chest pain, SOB and a history of cancer, uh, BP is low, jugular veins distended. I'm getting many differentials on my mind. Anyways, let's talk about it at the end of the video. So Shri, uh, could you deliver a baby alone without any medical personnel around you? It's a bit difficult, but if situation demands, it's definitely yes. That too without any medical equipment? That too in a moving train? A bit stressful, right? Yeah. So here comes the super woman. She is a student of Geetam Deal to be University of Vizag, Dr. Swati, who is an intern, and she conducted a delivery in a moving train around at around 3.30 a.m. and she delivered a healthy baby girl and the grateful parents have decided to name the baby after her. Wow, it's really astonishing. Yeah, and the fact that you could put your knowledge to use at the time of need, especially in an emergency and stressful situations, is truly inspiring. Oh, coming to inspirational stories, I have one to speak about. Bengaluru doctor breaks the traffic and saves the patient. Dr. Govind Nandakumar, who is a surgical gastroenterologist at Manipal Hospital, has left the traffic and ran about 3 kilometers to just save the life of a female patient whose life is at stake. Oh, that was really inspiring. So that is what, be it an intern, a senior resident, a junior resident or a super specialty surgeon. When it comes to patient's life, every doctor is a superhero. Exactly. Shreya, there is a saying, right? Not all the heroes are into acting. Some are into medicine too. And the NEET PG 2022 counselling has begun on 15th of September and the registrations are open. Interested and eligible candidates can register and the registrations will be going on till September 23rd. And as for the tentative schedule, the round one seat allotment will be on September of 28th and the reporting will be from September 29th to October 4th. And also in Odisha, the registration process is also online and it will be commenced from 15th September to 20th September. And the verification process will also go for another six days from 17th to 23rd of September. On Tuesday, the Union Health Ministry have added 34 new drugs to the essential medicines list. And the total of 26 drugs were deleted from the previous list, which include an antacid, ranitidin, sucralfate, etinolol, methyl dopa, and white petrol atom. And these drugs were deleted based on safety concerns. And the primary purpose of NLEM is to promote rational use of medicines and to help in optimum utilization of the healthcare resources and to make the medicines more affordable. Okay. NMC bill, which we have discussed in the last video, this got implemented in Madhya Pradesh. Medical colleges to NMC to increase the PG seats. There are actually two ways to increase the PG seats. One is increasing number of seats in the medical colleges. The other is converting certain district hospitals where medical colleges are not there into medical colleges. So many of them can get into the deem branches and also the other is the patients can get medical treatment from a specialized doctor. Uttar Pradesh have requested NMC to increase the need PG seats by about 509. 173 from the government medical colleges and 336 from the private medical colleges. As already stated in the last week's AWN, a nasal, more effective and a cheaper COVID vaccine can be a game changer, experts say, which could just be what is needed in the world battling a waning and waxing COVID wave with new variants throwing up challenges at every step. And also the researchers believe that this mucosal vaccine uh, could prevent even mild illness and uh, spread to other people, which the current COVID-19 vaccines could not do. And also this early uh, clearance of the virus from the mucosa itself uh, before spreading to other organs and lungs is an advantage over the intramuscular injectables. Maybe the nasal vaccine is the one which we need to finally break the cycle of transmission. Yes, exactly. With India still reeling under the coronavirus, there is another disease which is making it impact globally by number of cases being rapidly increasing. Yeah. That is none other than monkeypox virus. Until yesterday, the number of cases reported were 19,188, out of which four are from India, three from Kerala and one from national capital. So India is in discussion with vaccine makers to make a vaccine against monkeypox virus. 
Oh, so you mean the vaccine against monkeypox virus? Yes. And for this academic year's admissions, the AFMS, that is Armed Forces Medical Services, has imposed the bond service rule of levying 54.5 lakhs if the five-year compulsory service is not provided by the MS, MD or DNB medicals after their completion of the courses. What is this bond service rule? See, the civilian candidates who are joining various AFMS institutions for PG degree courses, they are required to sign a bond calling five-year compulsory service with the armed forces after completing their courses. But if they are not willing to or they fail to do service in this uh, armed forces after their course, they have to pay a bond amount of 54.5 lakhs. Economically weaker section, a fraud in the constitution, says the advocate's petitioner to the Supreme Court. Dr. Kopal states that one or third amendment which includes 10% to the economically weaker section was a fraud in the constitution. He says a person or a family can lose its entire status and wealth in a lottery or by means of a gambling. So it can be included in the economically weaker sessions. He says that parliament has no right to include economically weaker sections by means of wealth other than by means of backward sections. He states that earning 8 lakhs or less per annum is a far high amount and many can be included in this criteria. Shreya, coming to the discussion about clinical scenario, did you get the diagnosis? Could you give me some clue? Have you heard about Beckstride anywhere? Beckstride, yeah, it is uh, hypotension. Raised JVP and muffled heart sounds. Yeah. Where will you see the back stride? Yeah. We see back stride in cardiac tamponade. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So the diagnosis is cardiac tamponade, guys. Okay. What are the differentials? Differentials for cardiac tamponade, tension hemothorax and pulmonary embolism. And also congestive cardiac failure. Okay. For any queries and suggestions, our oracles will be always open for you guys. For more information, you can follow us on Instagram and Telegram by clicking the links below. Please like, share and subscribe to Oracle for more updates. Bye guys. We'll see you on next Saturday.